Hey everyone, it's Casey. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you my TBR for the Reading Rush. Uh, if you have never heard of the Reading Rush before, it is a readathon uh, where there's like a seven different challenges that you try um, and read books to meet. Um, it takes place for a whole week and in general it's just like a fun thing that started out on booktube uh to get people to read more and to like read jointly um so yeah i'm super excited about it it starts today actually when i'm filming this it's july 22nd monday um and it goes uh, all the way until sunday so like i said there are seven different challenges uh, with a bonus challenge to read eight books or to read seven books and there's i'm no, that's not happening. I'm not going to read seven books in one week. Um, if you are new to my channel, I'm in the bit of like a five year long reading slump. So, so that's not quite true, but I've been in a reading slump for a very long time. Um, so I'm very excited about this. I hope it kind of like kickstarts my reading for the year, which I know is crazy because it's the end of July. But it's true, okay? It's true. Um, so let's just get right on into the challenges. I have the challenges pulled up on my phone. So if I'm looking down, that's what I'm looking at. And so since I'm not going to read seven books, I'm going to try and um, make books count for more than one challenge to kind of get these um, all in there. So the very first challenge is to read a book with purple on the cover. So for this challenge, I'm going to read Foolish Hearts by Emma Mills. Um, I have read two other MMLs and I love them both uh, so much. I gave them both five stars um, and yes, I love them. The other two I've read are This Adventure Ends and no, this is Foolish Hearts. Famous in a Small Town. I, I knew it started with an F. Um, so I'm very excited to read Foolish Hearts uh, by her and I hope that it is just kind of a fun easy read because that's what her other ones have been this is a YA contemporary I have no idea what it's about um I already own this but I saw it on Chelsea Dolling Reads TBR and she mentioned that as boy band so then I was like yes must pick that up because that sounded so good to me to read a book about boy bands um so I'm very excited for this um it is a little bit on the long side for a readathon at least um in my reading pace it's like it's just over 300 pages um but her other two books i read like i said were quick and they were really fun and really sucked me in um so i'm hoping this one does the same and that i'll um that it won't be like a big hassle to finish it during um the week so yes very excited about this one this is also going to count for a second challenge which is going to be um a book that i meant to read last year um, I first read This Adventure Ends either last year or the year before. That was my first MMLs, and it made me want to read all of her other books that she'd ever written. Um, so yeah, I definitely meant to pick this up last year. There's another challenge that is read a book in the same spot. Um, it doesn't, you don't have to be in the same spot continuously. It's just like, if you read on the couch, you can only read that book on the couch. Um... So I might do that for this book. I might do it, I might do it on my couch or maybe in my bedroom. I'm not real sure. That might be one of the challenges that I just don't do. Uh, for me in my reading space I'm in right now, it's more important for me to be reading rather than to be fulfilling um, a bunch of challenges that I think may put me into a slump. Ish, if that makes sense I'm too fragile for some of these challenges right now um, so that is the first book I'm gonna read I actually started another book uh, today like I said today is Monday and the readathon started today so I already picked up the audiobook for stay sexy don't get murdered it is by Karen Kilgariff and Georgia Hardstock Hearts hmm. it is by Karen Kilgariff and George it is by <laughs> it is by George no it is by Karen Kilgariff and Georgia Hardstark. Um, it is, um, they have a podcast called My Favorite Murder. It's probably my favorite podcast. Um, and so they released this, this book. It's a dual memoir. Um, and there's like little life advices kind of thrown in there that they back up with their own stories. Um, and I am loving it so far. They narrate it and they also, um, pump, 
They also got Paul Giamatti to narrate a little chunks, little chunks of it. So that's really fun, but also jarring whenever his voice comes on. I mean, I'm like, oh, I've been listening for two hours to these women, and all of a sudden, like this man comes on, and it's it, it's really good so far. I'm only probably on chapter three or something, but I'm really enjoying it. Um, I would say you, you kind of have to be a fan of their podcast. Like, I, I can't imagine like someone just picking this up who's not a fan of their podcast. Um, but it's so good. So if you're like even slightly interested in it, they do. It, like I said, it's mostly a memoir. It's not as true crime as the podcast is, but they do definitely mention like offhandedly some murders, which sounds super weird. But if you're into true crime, you understand. Um, so I'm I'm really enjoying it so far, and I'm excited to keep listening to it. Um, they yeah, they just talk about their life, and it's not like chronological. It's not boring in any sort of way. Um, but yes, so far five stars, love it. So that book is going to qualify. Oh, I should make that the one. Okay, ignore what I said. That's going to be the one that I read in the same spot because I'm listening to the audiobook of it. So I only listen to audiobooks at work at my desk. So that'll be the book that I read from the same spot. Um, it's also going to be the uh, the book that has five or more words in the title. Like I said, the title of it is um, Stay Sexy, Don't Get Murdered. There's also like a subtitle. I think it's called a definitive how-to guide or something, but whatever. There's a lot of words in that title. And this could also be for read an author's first book. I pretty sh I'm almost like 99% sure that this is their first book for both of the authors. So that one definitely qualifies. It's very good. The next book I'm going to pick up, I don't actually own, but I own the first book of it. So um, this is the first book, but the book I will actually be reading is The Adventure Zone, the Adventure Zone Murder on the Rockport Limited. Uh, it is a graphic novel. So like I said, this is the first one, Here There Be Gerblins. Um, this is also based on a podcast, which is so weird that I have two books like that. But um, it is by the McElroy brothers and their dad, Clint. Um, and they, it's based on the podcast, The Adventure Zone. So they did this whole D&D podcast, Dungeons and Dragons podcast, and now they're turning each, like, little segment, if you will, into graphic novels. So this is the first one. The second one, the one that I will be reading, just came out a few weeks ago, and it's called Murder on the Rockport Limited. So I'm very excited about that. Um, I think that it shouldn't take me too long. It's only, I don't, these don't have page numbers, but like 200 pages and it's a graphic novel. I'm very excited to read it. I think this will fulfill the challenge for read a book without a human main character, if that makes sense. A non, it, the main character is not human um, because this little guy, Taco, is an elf. Um, so yes, he qualifies. He's definitely not human. Um, Anyway, I would definitely recommend this if you're into... So I had never listened to or read about D&D before I started listening to the podcast, but it's really just a story, you know, like a fantastical story. So I would definitely recommend these. Um, and maybe maybe read these first, and if you like it, go into the podcast. It's, it's very good. I cannot recommend it enough to you guys. Um, after that... I do kind of want to at least start another book um, because the the audiobook won't take me very long, uh, this book won't take me very long, and hopefully Foolish Hearts won't take me very long. So I feel like I have enough time to at least start another book. I doubt I'll finish um, a fourth book. But I don't want to put so many restrictions on myself. I have a few options that I've picked out that are tentatively like what I hope to pick up. Um, so the first one is The Dresden Files by Jim Butcher. Yes, it's it's in huge letters, Casey. Um, this is the first one, Stormfront, and this is a huge series. I think there's like 16 of them or something. I've started, I'm like 30 pages into it. Uh, I'm 46 pages into it. Um, but I haven't picked it up in like two months. So this could be a potential one for me to finish. It's, it's so far, it's read quickly. I just haven't been picking it up. 
So it is a book about um, Dresden. I forget what his name is. Let's call him Steve. Steve Dresden is a, a wizard in Chicago. So it's like modern day Chicago, but with fantastical elements. So there's like werewolves and vampires, things like that. So he's a, he's a wizard and he's a private investigator. And sorry, can you not? Sorry if the camera was shaking. I actually have it on my cat tree and then my cat started to like use it as his like scratching post. How dare he? How dare you? So I may pick up this one. Another book um, that I've been meaning to read for since it came out in June is The Rest of the Story by Sarah Dessen. Sarah Dessen is my favorite author. This is a YA contemporary um, and I'm excited to read it. I just haven't so need to pick this one up on the same vein another one of my favorite authors released a book last year and I haven't read it it's Morgan Matson's Save the Date these both are chunkers but um, I want to at least start one of them because I love both of these people and I haven't read their books and it makes me sad why haven't I read these I don't know Anyway, <laughs> that is my TBR. I did not meet all the challenges. I still didn't do read and watch a book to movie adaptation. Like I said, there's nothing I'm dying for. I believe there's a TV series um, based on the Dress and Files. I guess in theory, I, if I read this one, I could watch. Um, but again, I'm not putting too much pressure on myself for those. And the, the bonus one, reading seven books. That's, that's probably not going to happen unless I read um, some audiobooks because... I think the audiobooks count and I can listen to them at work um, so that may happen but I'm also not putting a lot of pressure on myself like I've said that three times okay you get it I'm not pressuring myself um, anyway so that was my TBR um, I made you like some sort of wrap-up at the end of booktube -thon, or maybe like a wrap-up vlog style if I vlog during this time um, I don't know I'm not pressuring myself <laughs> Okay, anyway, thank you so much for watching my video. Um, let me know if you're doing um, the buzz. Did I say Booktubeathon? That's what it used to be called. Now it's called The Reading Rush. So let me know down below if you are participating in The Reading Rush. And I'll go check out your videos. So have a great day. I hope, I, I wish you all good luck with The Reading Rush. Bye.